Hey guys, and welcome back to another Code in Exiles video. Today we are in the Exiled Lands in Map Square G7, building a desert clan base. This build was initially going to be a pyramid or a ziggurat, but I instead chose to adapt it into a base design for a small clan in a PvE or maybe even, dare I say it, a PvP environment. This build does not use any mods in construction or decoration. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 68% of a two year deal plus a month free when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout. Stick around until the end of the video to learn more about how to browse the internet safely and securely with NordVPN. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with reinforced stone foundations, building a 13 by 13 square and filling it with an extra layer of stone foundations, then terranian foundations inside. I then built stone walls three tiles high around the perimeter of this build, leaving a two tile buffer chamber and then building terranium walls three tiles high again on the inner perimeter. I chose to use foundations but you could of course quite easily use fence foundations for this build. If you've watched me for any length of time you'll know that I'm definitely not a PvP expert. I mean hell I almost have 750 hours and I still haven't played survival yet so I can't say for certain this build is the perfect choice for a clan base in a PvP environment, but I did use some basic knowledge to try and make a build that would perform well in that environment. By virtue of it being designed for PvP, this build will be quite boxy, but I'll be doing my best to add in extra elements that add a bit more shape and variance to the structure. Next, I built a 3x3 tower at the front of the build and constructed staircases on either side to reach this tower, which will be the main entryway to the build itself. Next, I tried to gauge altar placement within the ground floor of the build, though this plan would later change, and then used terranium ceilings to cap off the floor, supported by terranium pillars. I then built the walls of this floor up two tiles high, again creating a buffer chamber. I then built stairs between the ground and first floor, and capped off the walls with terranium and stone ceilings. I would go over this stair design again in both this stage of the build and the furnishing phase, settling on a stair design that is much more compact and works much better for this build.
finally, I built up the walls of the top floor one tile high, along with two tiles high on the entrance tower too. I built simple roof structures over the tower and top floor, then fencing off the edges of the build to finish off the construction phase. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the base with hanging Terranian torches, along with adding walkways, statues, planters and roof pieces around the foot of the base for visual support. Entering the base, we reach the walls. The walls stretch around the build and assist in defence, allowing archers to fire down on attackers, along with aiding in scouting of the planes surrounding the base. These walls can be packed with thralls to aid in defence from anyone choosing to attack through the tower entrance, and the lower walkways could also be removed, if necessary, to allow for crenellated walls to further defend the base. Entering the top floor, this is a small entranceway with fighter thralls to slow or prevent attackers from entering the build through the front door. On the first floor is the workshop, where thralls work hard and long to create various resources and items for the base. This includes workshops of all sizes and specialties, and could be expanded or specialised depending on what is needed for the build at any given time. Reaching the ground floor, I opted to replace the altar I was initially trying to place with a wheel of pain for breaking thralls. On this floor, there are also extra workshop and production areas for saddlers, farming crops, alchemy and more, along with a small kitchen to cook nutritious meals.
Hanging above the ground floor are two narrow rooms, one with beds and the other with chests for storage. This provides places for the clan members to sleep, along with storage for various resources and items. This storage could be easily expanded in this room as the resources of the clan grows, or the build could be adapted to fit a vault or just a larger storage room in general. And there we have it, a desert clan base in the Exiled Lands in Map Square G7. Thanks for watching, PvP building is of course far from my speciality, but I think this build is at least a good foundation, onto which a seasoned PvP expert could build a huge and impressive base. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code you can get 68% off a 2 year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos, as usual absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Again don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code ERADYT at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, MK Pantheon, Sergeant Swede, Shannara and Torn. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.